Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so we have started algebraic reasoning. Um, we learned about prime factorization a couple of days ago. Now we are moving on to the next piece that needs to be added to that, and that is exponents. So I'm gonna do some notes with you and then a, a few practice problems and you're gonna do some on your own and then we'll check in. Of course, if you need help, let me know and I'll be happy to help you out with it. So let's go ahead and share my screen, see what we got for you today. All right, exponents, what are they and how do we use them? There we go. All right, exponents, what are exponents? Exponents represent expressions that repeat, okay? In numbers like, for instance, five times five times five, okay? Now you may remember when we were doing prime factorization um, a couple of days ago, um, you're separating out those factors and they look like this. Well, exponents, as you're going to see in a second, is, a way, is going to be a way to shorten this long number sentence. Okay, let's keep going. Exponents do not change the value of the expression. Exponents actually simplify it. Okay, let's do a few vocabulary to help us out here. An exponent tells how many times a number called the prime is used as a factor, okay? A number is in exponential form. You know, that sounds like a big word. When it is written with a base and an exponent. And I will show you what that is in just a second. A number is in factor form when it is written with factors listed out, separated by multiplication signs. And remember, our multiplication sign for sixth grade is the dot or parentheses. A number is in standard form. or simplest form, they mean the same thing, when the factors are multiplied. So pretty much it's your answer, okay? Standard form or simplest form is when you get the actual answer, okay? Now, I've given you quite a few words here. Now let's put them, what, what do they mean? Where do they go, okay? So let's see. Here is an exponent, this little number above the base, okay? So let's start there. This is the base number, the number that's being repeated. This is the exponent. This little number at the top is saying how many times this number, the base, is being repeated. So let's look, seven to the power of three or to the third power. What it's saying is that this is seven times seven times seven, which if you multiply those would give you 353. So this right here is what's called exponential form. When you have the base number with an exponent, it's called exponential form. The next thing you see when it's separated by multiplication symbols is factor form, which is what we did initially this week. We had it in factor form. And then when you get your actual answer, this is your standard form or simplest form. I'm gonna put both simplest form, okay, okay. So, Monday, this is what we did. We did it the other way though. We started off with the answer. We factored it out. And now we're talking about how to put it in exponential form, okay? So let's see a few examples. Miss, I still know what you're talking about. What is going on with this exponents? Well, let's see if this will clear it up with some examples. So for example, exponents with a base of 10. Let's say I had 10 to the power of one. Okay, a 10 with a little one at the top. This reads 10 to the first power because there's a one there. How would I write this in factor form? 
anything to the power of one is just itself. Standard form or simplest form, which is our answer. I'm not multiplying it by anything because it's only itself. So my answer would also be 10. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's say I had 10 to the power of 2. 10 to the power of 2. This can be referred to as 10 squared or 10 to the second power. Okay. In factor form, it's saying that I have two tens. So it's going to be 10 times 10. That's what it's saying, that I'm multiplying 10 twice. Standard form is our answer. So I go ahead and multiply. What is 10 times 10? 100. Good job. So standard form is our answer. All right, let's try a different base. Okay, let's try a different base. Let's say I had mm, two to the power of four. I had a four up here. So this would read two to the fourth power. And my base, I'd be multiplying it four times by two. So two times two times two times two. Guys, please don't make the mistake. This is not saying two times four. That is not what it's saying. It's saying two to the power of four. So you're multiplying two four times. Two times two times two times two. So let's go ahead and work that out so I can get my answer. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. Okay. Let's try one more. Let's say I had five as my base and let's say I wanted to put it to the power of three. So it would read five to the third power. And it's saying that I'm multiplying five three times. Oops, I put the three instead of five. Not five times three. That's not saying five times three. It's saying five times five times five. Now, I'm going to do some work out here. Five times five gives me 10. Then I need to do 10 times five, which will give me 50. So my standard or my answer is 50. Okay, not 15, 50. All right, let's look at what you're gonna be seeing in your work in just a second. Let's do some practice. It says write five times five times five times five times five times five, five in exponential form. Remember exponential form is when we take the base the base happens to be a five because that's what's being repeated. And I'm going to put how many times I see that five. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is gonna be five to the power of six, okay? I multiplied the five six times. That's exponential form. Write seven to the power of three in factor form. If I look at my example, factor form is when I write it out, separating it by multiplication symbols. So I have seven, which is my base, and it says I multiplied it three times. So seven times seven times seven. Remember, we need to use the dot. I know these have the X's, but we need to use the dots. Okay, the next one, it says, what is three to the power of four in standard or simplest form? Remember that is when we solve, we want an answer. Well, I don't know what that is. I need to first separate it. Three times three times three times three. Then I can multiply it. Three times three is nine. Three times three is nine. Nine times nine is 81. So three to the power of four is equal to 81. What is three times three times three times three in standard simplest form? Hmm, that was very familiar over here. I just did that. I worked that out just a minute ago. I know that that is 81. Ladies and gentlemen, this is exponents. I've shown you the three different ways of how they're written and how to solve, okay? You have some work to do on your own. 
go ahead and do the assignment. And of course, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to help you with it. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.